Let's go to Monday Night Football. Furman, this is a big game. Uh, You've got the Rams going up against the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals, probably fair to say, I think you would agree, the surprise team of the NFL season so far when you consider they're sitting at 10-2 and and would be the one seed in the NFC if the season were to end today. Uh, And so, as you break all this down, I am on the Rams. I'm also on the under. If the uh, Arizona Cardinals win this game, effectively the division is over, right? It would be almost impossible for the Rams to catch them. What do you expect to happen in this game? Rams are the underdog. Over, under, as I'm looking right now uh, at FanDuel as we are speaking, you can get your bets in at fanduel.com slash clay. Cardinals, two and a half point home favorite, over, under, 50 and a half in this one. What is the line telling us? What do you expect to see in Monday Night Football tonight? Yeah, what I can tell you is that the initial appetite in this game from professional bettors were to take the Rams plus three. I know that number was dangled out there for a very short period of time at FanDuel. And since then, it's been a steady flow of one-way traffic coming in on Arizona because of that gaudy record that you mentioned. And there's no doubt when you go from top to bottom in the National Football League this year, I mean, Arizona has to be the biggest surprise because they were picked by many to finish in last in what was supposed to be the most competitive division in all of football in the NFC West. And it really hasn't disappointed, I guess, other than the Seahawks, who have underwhelmed. Of course, they played a long stretch this year without Russell Wilson. But credit to Cliff Kingsbury and Vance Joseph for getting this team to be dynamic on the offensive side of the ball. And I think their defense has been the real pleasant surprise. What is interesting when you look at the way this Rams-Cardinal series has played out, I mean, up until that 37-20 to 20 win where Arizona upset the Rams earlier this year as a three-and-a-half, four-point underdog, Sean McVay had had mastery over the Cardinals. He'd won and covered in eight straight games by an average margin of victory approaching seven plus. When you look at the way the Rams have performed, they went winless in the month of November. They bounced back last week with a win against the Jaguars. But given everything you said about watching the Jaguars for a full 60 minutes against your beloved Titans, what does that really tell us about the Rams? I think they have to answer a quite a few questions tonight against Arizona, not only for the divisional race, but where they'll fit in the NFC pecking order. And I really believe Arizona has been a little bit discounted in the betting market. Now, all that being said, uh, I have the Rams power rated better on a neutral field than Arizona, so I won't be getting involved here because I missed the three. But I do echo your same sentiments, talking about the under being a very worthwhile wager in tonight's game. I mean, Arizona ran the ball for more than 200 yards the first time around. I think Arizona defensively can sell out to go after Matthew Stafford, knowing that Brian Allen, the starting center, is going to be out. It looks like Rob Hevenstein as well. So you're talking about a Rams offensive line down two of its starting five, and Matthew Stafford has been sacked an inordinate amount of time during that three-game losing streak. So the familiarity, everything at stake, I think you're talking about the winner of this game emerging with 24 to 27 points max. And if you're able to shop around, grab that 51 and go under, I think it's going to be a little bit more defensive-minded than a lot of people believe. Uh, All right, so I'm on the under, I'm on the Rams. 